I want my clothes to live, to party, to have fun, to, 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 to create a moment. Jeremy Scott changed my life. Kind of put the bridge together between the ghetto and high end fashion. Yo, Shorty, you got wings on your sneakers right now? He knows who he is first and foremost. And his clothes have a narrative. You know, his clothes have their own story. It's kind of inspiring to listen to his story. You know, obviously being such a strong character could sometimes be intimidating. And he just makes it work. As a kid in a farm, in a small town, looking at magazines and seeing high fashion and wanting to be a part of it so badly, I didn't realize that the runways were fake and that, you know, TV wasn't real. I think any time you look different or think different or stand out in any way, sadly, it's a threat to people. And I'm not sure why it's a threat to people, but I think that that was hard for him. There would be times I had to sleep in the metro because there was not a place to go. I think we all suffer for things that we believe in, especially a kid that starts out with nothing. I don't want to be seen as a facsimile of someone else. This is, you know, a huge show for Jeremy, a huge show for Moschino, and it just has to go perfectly. No one really knew what I was going to do, and this was the first show and the first outing, so, you know, it was really going to set the tone. She's talking about one thing, you're talking about two things. His clothes kind of represent people being, like, very expressive and forward and, like, fully free, and it's, like, you know, kind of empowering in a way. He's not just a fashion designer, he's a star. He has a real opportunity now, but I think for him to do something really exciting, he has to push himself in ways that he hasn't before. Yeah.